This video will demonstrate the steps necessary to troubleshoot the message. The database host has refused your connection. Verify that the connection properties, host, port, user, password, etc., are correct, and that the connection is not being blocked by a firewall. When you receive it, trying to install the control M with an existing Oracle database server. Doing the installation, after accepting the license terms, we're presented with the type of installation we'll perform. Doing an Oracle installation, we're required to select Custom. On the next screen, we'll need to select Oracle since we're going to be installing against an Oracle database. The next page requires us to enter the parameters for the Oracle connection. We're going to enter the host name of the listener along with the port. You'll also need to enter the service name for the Oracle you'll be using. The Oracle database properties is the last screen you have to fill in. Here you'll set the password for the DBO, which will be created, and put in the DBA username and password. After entering the database administrator password, you may encounter this error. This error can mean any number of things, and we'll go over several of them. Let's talk quickly about a few things that can go wrong, and then about how to diagnose and fix it. First, we have the possibility that the listener is not running. If the listener is running, there's the potential that the Control-M machine can't contact it. If both of the above are OK, there's the potential that the wrong username and password were specified, or the wrong service name or SID were used. On the Oracle server, the DBA can provide you with the output of lsnrctl space status. Here in this output, we can see that the listener is not running. If the listener is running, but the service isn't registered, you'll see something like this, where you'll see the host and port, but no database service noted at the bottom of the output. Lastly, here we can see the output of a running listener with a service called Control-M registered. If we have everything on the Oracle server running correctly, we'll need to test TCP connectivity to the host and port of the listener from the Control-M machine. We can use the Telnet utility to do this. If the Telnet gives us a timeout or a connection refused, like we see here, You'll have to have your network or systems people correct this until it connects. You can verify the host and port in the LSNRCTL status, which I showed you a moment ago. Here, we can see a telnet which connects successfully. If all the previous tests succeed, we can test logging in with a client. Here I'm demonstrating this with a command line client SQL Plus. Your DBA can do this for you, provided the same connection details you used at installation time. Here we see the message ORA-01017, which is produced when testing and providing the incorrect username or password. When the service name or SID is incorrect, we'll see an error ORA-12514, like I've shown here. This again, we would verify against the registered service in the LSNRCTL status, which we showed at the beginning of this video. This concludes this Control-M solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.